Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at marketplace e-commerce. We're going to dive into this specific feature, but we're going to not only cover the feature itself and some of the benefits of this feature, we're also going to take a look at real world examples and some different iterations of this specific scenario for marketplace e-commerce. We're also going to talk a little bit about some of the permutations or iterations that you might see around this feature. And then we're going to wrap up. And if you can stick around till the end of the video, going to have an opportunity to take advantage of some complimentary resources that we have available to you as it relates to marketplace e-commerce. With that said, let's dive in. With marketplace e-commerce platforms, one of the key aspects that you'll be able to build is a community. Now this community is really going to take off if you can put it into a momentum state where you have key contributors who are driving a lot of value on both the seller side primarily and also on the buyer side. Now, one of the best ways to do this is to gamify and incentivize certain behavior within your platform. This is topic typically referred to as governance. And one of the things about governance that you can do is you can offer different levels of membership and different levels of access and resources and promotion within your system. And this can be paid or unpaid. So one of the things that we're showing here is basically different membership levels. And we're showing a small cost in order to upgrade. This can also be purchased by behaving well and operating well within your marketplace, or it could be a combination of the two. So you could require that somebody meet a certain number of sales that they certify and verify their actual physical operation and possibly their location, um, authenticity of what they're doing, et cetera, as well as meet a certain volume of very happy customers that they deliver to before they can upgrade to a higher tier of capability within your marketplace. Now, this is really helpful to start out as best you can, letting the different members know what the options are and if you are building a community from scratch, a marketplace from scratch, you may want to offer a limited time period where folks can get access to these different tiers of membership at a discount, but make sure you let them know that this is subject to change after X, Y, or Z period. Now here you can see on this example, we're showing different key aspects of different membership levels, in particular with a premium standard or basic membership they get access to different priority ranking for their products and for their store within the marketplace. They also have different levels of products that they can post, whether or not they're in a free membership or a paid membership. Uh, they also can showcase different numbers of products, uh, the ability to uh, build out quote requests, have a verification for their account. And in this case, we're showing the ability to have a customized website so they can actually build their own website using the marketplace itself as a source and personalized customer service that's directed at them. Uh, and then we also have different criteria around whether or not they get business trends and performance analytics, industry analysis that's built into the marketplace, sub accounts, and then photo size. Now, depending on what your marketplace is, I want to ask you to think about what these features are that might be really helpful to your different members to encourage them and offer them resources that will promote them on their pathway. Typically, some of the biggest value adds that you're gonna be able to bring to your members who are sellers within your marketplace is industry knowledge that's essentially de-identified from a accumulation across your entire marketplace. Especially if you've specialized in a specific set of categories or a regional area or some form of niching down within your marketplace that you can accumulate this knowledge in a very specialized area and then share that with members who meet certain levels of performance, well, that can be invaluable to their overall business, regardless of how much volume they're doing in the marketplace. The other thing that you can do is direct business to them through your marketplace. And this should typically be associated with great performance and great customer satisfaction whenever they fulfill their orders and deliver great quality to your customers who are the buyers in the marketplace. And there are a lot of other details that you can leverage here. 
Uh, these are just a few of them. But the biggest thing we want to ask you to think about is how are you going to present this consistently throughout your marketplace e-commerce experience? One of the best things that you can do is offer this as a consistent theme and recommend that the sellers take advantage of certain aspects if they're not getting the results that they want. Maybe give them a free trial for a certain level of membership or that kind of a thing. Maybe send them emails or at least calls to actions within the emails that you're sending them that are transactional in nature. Have a common footer or common promotional area where you can encourage them to take the next steps. The other big thing that we've seen that's really helpful is to set up educational programs and learning programs to help promote them on their journey of building their marketplace presence within your marketplace e-commerce platform. This can be really, really helpful. Now, the other thing that we want to point out is this membership concept applies substantially to buyers as well as sellers. You may give them premium access to immediately get in touch with the sellers or get in touch with them in a different format. Give them access to premium quoting or different forms of fulfillment that might only be available to those premium customers, discounted shipping, access to resources as buyers that they can use to determine a better uh, sales source. The list goes on. It really is infinite. And the biggest thing we want to encourage you to think about here with the buyer side of things with the membership is, again, what specifically in your industry makes sense and in the areas that you specialize in to be able to add substantial value to your members. As always, we hope this video was really helpful to you and we encourage you to smash the like button if you found it useful. Of course, we've also got some complimentary resources for you available in the last part of this video. Encourage you to take a look at those and wish you all the best in your journey with your marketplace e-commerce platform. Thanks for watching this video on Marketplace e-commerce. In this particular edition, we went into quite a bit of detail. However, we want you to know that we have complimentary resources that you can download for free that give you a summary and a cheat sheet on key aspects of Marketplace e-commerce. In particular, we go into quite a bit of detail around a checklist. It can be really helpful when upfront planning for a Marketplace e-commerce project. We also have go live steps and optimization steps around various different aspects of running the marketplace, making it self-service, setting up the governance rules, optimizing for organic SEO, performance, security tuning, and really the list goes on. We certainly encourage you to take a look at those links in the description. And as always, if you would like to, we encourage you to go to town on that like button Certainly feel free to subscribe so you can get notifications about additional videos like this. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.